Fabry disease, Wikipedia audio. Fabry disease is a rare genetic disease. It is inherited in an X-linked manner. Fabry disease can cause a wide range of symptoms. Fabry disease is a lysosomal storage disease which involves dysfunctional metabolism of sphingolipids and so is a sphingolipidosis. The disease is named after one of its discoverers, Johannes Fabry. Signs and Symptoms Symptoms are typically first experienced in early childhood and can be very difficult to understand. The rarity of Fabry disease to many clinicians sometimes leads to misdiagnosis. Manifestations of the disease usually increase in number and severity as an individual ages. Full body or localized pain to the extremities or gastrointestinal tract is common in patients with Fabry disease. This acroparesthesia is believed to be related to the damage of peripheral nerve fibers that transmit pain. GI tract pain is likely caused by accumulation of lipids in the small vasculature of the GI tract which obstructs blood flow and causes pain. Fabry Disease Information Page at Nines, Fabry Disease at NLM Genetics Home Reference, Fabry Registry, Stroke in Young Fabry Patients, Data Geno, Fabry Disease. Kidney complications are a common and serious effect of the disease, kidney insufficiency and kidney failure may worsen throughout life. The presence of protein in the urine is often the first sign of kidney involvement. End-stage kidney failure in those with Fabry disease typically occurs in the third decade of life, and is a common cause of death due to the disease. Cardiac complications occur when glycolipids build up in different heart cells, heart-related effects worsen with age and may lead to increased risk of heart disease. High blood pressure and restrictive cardiomyopathy are commonly observed. Angiocaratomas are common. Anhydrosis is a common symptom, and less commonly hyperhidrosis. Additionally, patients can exhibit Raynaud's disease-like symptoms with neuropathy. Ocular involvement may be present showing cornea verticillata, i.e. clouding of the corneas. Keratopathy may be the presenting feature in asymptomatic patients, and must be differentiated from other causes of vortex keratopathy. This clouding does not affect vision. Other ocular findings can include conjunctival and retinal vascular abnormalities and anterior-slash-posterior spoke-like cataract. Visual reduction from these manifestations is uncommon. Pain, fatigue, neuropathy, cerebrovascular effects leading to an increased risk of stroke, early strokes, mostly vertebrobasilar system tinnitus, vertigo, nausea, inability to gain weight, chemical imbalances, and diarrhea are other common symptoms. A deficiency of the enzyme alpha-galactosidase A due to mutation causes a glycolipid known as globotriacylceramide to accumulate within the blood vessels, other tissues, and organs. This accumulation leads to an impairment of their proper functions. The DNA mutations which cause the disease are X-linked recessive with incomplete penetrance in heterozygous females. The condition affects hemizygous males, as well as homozygous, and in many cases heterozygous females. While males typically experience severe symptoms, women can range from being asymptomatic to having severe symptoms. New research suggests many women suffer from severe symptoms ranging from early cataracts or strokes to hypertrophic left ventricular heart problems and kidney failure. This variability is thought to be due to X inactivation patterns during embryonic development of the female. Fabry disease is suspected based on the individual's clinical presentation, 
and can be diagnosed by an enzyme assay to measure the level of alpha-galactosidase activity. An enzyme assay is not reliable for the diagnosis of disease in females due to the random nature of X inactivation. Molecular genetic analysis of the GLA gene is the most accurate method of diagnosis in females, particularly if the mutations have already been identified in male family members. Many disease-causing mutations have been noted. Kidney biopsy may also be suggestive of Fabry disease if excessive lipid buildup is noted. Pediatricians, as well as internists, commonly misdiagnose Fabry disease. The first treatment for Fabry's disease was approved by the US FDA on April 24, 2003. Fabrizyme was licensed to the Genzyme Corporation. It is an enzyme replacement therapy designed to provide the enzyme the patient is missing as a result of a genetic malfunction. The drug is expensive in 2012. Fabrizyme's annual cost was about 200,000 US dollars per patient, which is unaffordable to many patients around the world without enough insurance. ERT is not a cure, but can allow improved metabolism and partially prevent disease progression, as well as potentially reverse some symptoms. The pharmaceutical company Shire manufactures agalcidase alpha under the brand name Replace Agal as a treatment for Fabry's disease, and was granted marketing approval in the EU in 2001. FDA approval was applied for the United States. However, Shire withdrew their application for approval in the United States in 2012, citing that the agency will require additional clinical trials before approval. Clinically the two products are generally perceived to be similar in effectiveness. Both are available in Europe and in many other parts of the world but treatment costs remain very high. Kidney Heart Besides these drugs, a gene therapy treatment is also available from the Canadian Institutes of Health. Other Treatments Skin Other Manifestations Pathophysiology Diagnosis Treatment Pain associated with Fabry disease may be partially alleviated by ERT in some patients, but pain management regimens may also include analgesics, anticonvulsants, and nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, though the latter are usually best avoided in renal disease. Life expectancy with Fabry disease for males was 58.2 years compared with 74.7 years in the general population, and for females 75.4 years compared with 80.0 years in the general population, according to registry data from 2001 to 2008. The most common cause of death was cardiovascular disease, and most of those had received kidney replacements. Fabry disease is estimated to occur in 1 in 40,000 to 1 in 120,000 live births. Prognosis Epidemiology Pop culture references Sources and further reading